Hello everybody, this is Luke Godzilla fan. Today I'm going to do a toy review on the on the Bandai Creation Angerus 2004. I guess this is from the um, newer um, wave. I'm guessing because he doesn't appear in, at the back of the box. This is how he fits in the box, and it's kind of cool. Let's put him here. He doesn't appear in any of these. This is the six-inch classic Godzilla figures. So it's pretty strange that he's not here. Okay, let's put this in the background. Now let's go on to the figure itself. The figure itself has a really cool detail and paint job. I like how the spikes are painted. And the tail too. The detail on the tail is also pretty cool. And he does have a cool red tongue. Teeth are not individually sculpted, but they are still good. Uh, the horn is nicely painted. There's just a little scuff there, but that's probably because it wasn't Toys R Us. And the eyes look very cool and cartoonish. I like it. It looks pissed. So yeah, paint job and detail is really good. I personally like the belly. That's my favorite part. And he's pretty squishy. So now let's go to articulation. The legs go 360. Sometimes the spines get in the way. And this part, they also go 360. I don't know why, but all the Angerus figures that exist of the Showa or Millennia one, they always have this weird position in which they are. But I always like to do this. It looks awkward, but it works. There's also a glue seal here on the tail. I wouldn't recommend breaking it because it's really soft vinyl. So you could probably break the figure. And I don't want to do that. So yeah, detail and paint job is really good. So now let's size them up with some mon monsters. First with the Godzilla Final Wars. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if this is okay or not because Godzilla was... Uh, 100 meters, I think. Yes, 100 meters. So, I don't know what sizing Angers was, but this looks cool for battle. Sometimes Angers, because of his fatness, he looks a little bit too big. So yeah, since he was originally going to ha have to be appear in Godzilla 2000, let's size him up with Godzilla 2000. Uh, I think this is good, actually. I like it. But if we're gonna size him up with another Bandai Creation figure, let's size him up with the 68 Godzilla. I don't know, a little bit too big, but it could work. It could work. Just for fun, let's size him up with the original Angerus. You can really see the difference. I like the Showa design better because he doesn't look fat. I mean, really, he does look fat a lot. Now let's size him up with a monster he fought in the Showa series, King Ghidorah. I don't know if this is accurate or not, but it does look cool, so this would be a really interesting battle. Now, there are a lot of small Bandai figures that exist, and they would, Kizangiros would probably go good in scale with figures that are small, like the Bandai Hedorah. Really cool. Now, that's it all for the Godzilla uh, monsters to size them up, but there are some Ultra Monster figures that are very small too, so let's size them quick, let's quickly size them up with these. First, King Silvergon. This is really cool sizing, I think. Not accurate, but it looks cool. Both are very small. And with King Gesura. I think this is better than King Silvergon because are, because both again are very small and it looks cool. I mean you, you don't want a monster to be too huge. I mean they have to look at each other in the eyes. So they can make a good battle. And now since this guy is small and looks very much alike like Godzilla, it says him up of King of Mons. This is yeah, this works to be honest. This looks kinda cool. 
and finally, we let's try out with EX Gomera. Okay, the original Gomera is a little bit too big. EX Gomera is very small com you know, compared to the original, so this would probably make a really cool battle. I don't have EX Red King, but since EX Red King is actually shorter than EX Gomera, I think he would go perfectly with the with this Anguirus. So yeah, articulation is good, paint job and detail is good, the uh, sizing is, uh, I don't know, I would say awkward, but that's because it's really fat, and that's part of the design. And penetration is not going to change the design, because then they're going to get a lot of hating from fanboys, like Nick Jones. <laughs> so yeah. He gets a nice 10 out of 10. I like the figure, to be honest. I'm very happy I picked him up at Toys R Us. Um, what I find very strange is that he's not at the back of the box. I mean, there was actually a rumor when this new wave came out that Angus was supposed to be reissued, but since he didn't appear at the back of the box, this rumor, this rumor was thrown away because, of course, if he wasn't at the back of the box, this means that he obviously wasn't in the wave. But strangely enough, he was. And now that I have him, it's a very nice addition to any Godzilla collection. Of course, if you don't like his design, I wouldn't recommend it to you. But he gets a nice 10 out of 10. And hopefully we get more Bandai creation figures in the future. This is Luke Godzilla Fan, signing out.